Hello everyone, you're welcome to Delores Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. Today we'll be talking about the Google Cloud Messaging. And we'll be focusing majorly on the Firebase Cloud Messaging, FCM. Now, FCM is the new version of GCM. It inherits the reliable and scalable GCM infrastructure, plus new features, you know. So, I will recommend all Android programmers, you know, to actually uh, migrate to the use of the Firebase Cloud Messaging, which is quite robust and uh, well uh, uh, supported from Google. You know? If you're integrating messaging in a new app, you, know, you have to just start with the FCM. GCM users are strongly recommended to upgrade to FCM in order to benefit from new FCM features today and in, and in the future. So we'll be talking about the Firebase Cloud Messaging in this tutorial all right uh let's get to know how to set up the firebase uh cloud messaging client app on android you know to write your firebase cloud messaging android client app you now you use the firebase messaging api and you'll need android studio 1.5 upwards okay if you're still running on uh, the android studio uh 1.3 1.2 you can easily uh or like or um, check your updates and you uh, upgrade to a newer version of the Android Studio we have 2.0 or 2.1 you know that's the latest version uh, based on this uh, time of this tutorial but if you're finding it is uh, while um, uh, upgrading to the 2.0s and 2. Point, uh, series you can as well visit this site uh, which is a uh, the tools.android.com you can download the 1.5.2 you know from this 1.5.2 you can uh, uh like upgrade to the android studio 2.1.1 you know that you're seeing on your screen you can pass you can follow this uh uh this tutorial you know it's a short uh, series whereby you can you download the zip file of the windows version and also for mac users you download it and for linux you know you can as well download and follow the steps in order to install uh, your Android uh, uh, zip in the right folder and also make it work smoothlessly without uh, uh, any itches. All right, I'll be moving straight to the Firebase on how to, we need to add a Firebase to our Android project. So for you to add uh, a Firebase, no, you, are, you must have the Google Play Service SDK right installed, which I'll show you right now, which is... Uh, my SDK manager so it's always very good to uh, launch your SDK manager as a standalone uh, application you know whereby if you should notice the Google Play services 30 uh, the revolution the, the uh, 30 edition you know this uh, is very important get it installed and at the same time the Google repository which is 27 is the latest as of this recording of this video but at any level that you might have been picking this video just try to uh, upgrade your google play service and also your google repository this is these are very very important in the course of the fcm uh, integration into your android application and also you will also need the android studio 1.5 or higher so once all that uh, prerequisites are set you can actually move down to adding firebase to your android application okay i will take you down to the console firebase.google.com this is the dashboard that actually take uh the handles uh the firebase uh database the storage the hosting and also the notification you can also sell ads you can do in-app purchases you can do a lot with firebase and i know as time goes on google will continue to improve more firebase and firebase will be wow you know it's going to be a backend that is going to actually support uh millions of application millions of uh backend uh engineered applications so if i would like you to take up this uh opportunity to understand what the firebase is okay uh this is the console actually you're seeing uh uh this session which is the, um, the mobile app you're seeing a uh, uh, a project right on this page. you know i've created the project you know but for you as a new user that you've not created any firebase application uh created your project but let me just quickly create a new project so that you see what I'm trying to explain here. You can create a new project. If you can create a new project, your project name, let's say test. All right. 
click on create project uh, your region united states click on create project okay now so that you can actually get a full grasp of what uh, this is all about can you notice that you've actually created a new project so in the course of created after creating a new project you need to add firebase to your android app you can add it to ios or you can add it to web application okay let me add it to, to android application so you have to pass through these three steps okay you have to first of all uh tell uh, the platform the package of your application which is the reverse domain com dot delivery studios dot test since we're the name of the application is test it can be something so this is optional with the box signing certificates so just add your app okay that the steps you just have to follow you create a new project and if you notice the google service json file uh, is being downloaded automatically and you have to add this to your app uh, directory in your uh, android studio uh, uh, source files you know just look at this uh, screencast uh the screenshot right here you will see that this google service json file is being added to this app, app uh, directory in your project uh module of your source file which is been it has downloaded automatically all right uh, so afterwards you have to click continue okay if you notice some stuff here uh you need some dependencies added in the project level build.grid you need to add a uh, the class part com.google.gms which is the google service 3.0.0 okay in the app level of your module uh build gradu okay uh you need to add the bottom you need to add this to the bottom of the file the apply plugin com.google.gms.google services okay i'll be explaining that afterwards i just want you to i just want to take you through on how to create a new project in firebase and also how to add firebase to your application to the project you created okay afterwards you click on finish okay so you have your test uh, dashboard you know which uh, actually has the monthly active users in app purchases users impacted and errors okay you can also include it, add mobs you can do do a lot of things you can include analytics you know into your uh, firebase despite the fact that it is a database handling messaging you know you can also handle push notifications okay uh if you notice right in my uh drop down here i have uh another project called android cloud messaging which i created for the basis of this tutorial but just for explanation purposes i have to create the test uh project so that you can actually understand how to create a project in firebase and how to add your project to firebase so after this we'll be moving straight to the address studio We'll be talking about the development of uh, the GCM, which is the Google Cloud Messaging through Firebase, and how to actually make a, a push notifications, you know, test work, you know, using a real Android device. So, uh, for this uh, tutorial, if you're still fresh, if you want to follow me, you have that some prerequisites to actually creating this application and really making it work. First of all, you need an Android Studio 1.5. Or above you know so that must be right in place you need to upgrade your google play services in your sdk manager which i showed you earlier and at the same time you need to uh upgrade, upgrade your google repository you know so the latest version based on when you are watching this video so once you have that in place uh you're good to go you move down to your firebase to the console of firebase you create a new project you had a uh, firebase projects based on the android application or ios or, or web which one are you creating you add it to the firebase project project created so afterwards you get your google services uh json file you keep that and you move down to uh to your ide which is the android studio to actually integrate all these uh parameters into the application thank you very much for hanging out with me catch me up in my second part uh, because I, I just have to split this into two the first is the uh, configuration why the second part is going to be the full uh, development of this application still hang up, hang up with my channel don't go anywhere all right take care bye bye